Okay, now let's look at this. Huh? An object undergoes circular motion with uniform angular speed of 100 uh, RPM. Okay, 100 RPM. Right? Uh, 100 RPM. So what is this? Uh, 100 RPM? Uh, you can say it is a frequency or you can say it is a uh, uh, angular speed. Yeah, uh, just take this as omega. Yeah, uh, omega. Uh, so, but omega is not the unit. The unit is not uh, revolution per minute. Revolution normally is for frequency. Yeah, how many cycle per one second? Uh, but omega, the unit should be in radian per second. The omega unit should be in radian per second. So you need to change first revolution per minute to radian per second. Uh, let us first change. Yeah, we need normally we need the the unit of omega in radian per second. So. Uh, you can write it as uh, omega equal to 100 rpm but that's rpm is not unit for omega so you need to change to radian per second uh, we know to change to radian per second you need to multiply what uh, you need to multiply 2 pi 2 pi over 60 uh, 2 pi over 60 that then you'll get the unit in radian per second okay so let's let's multiply yeah let's multiply Ah, okay. So it is uh, omega is uh, ten point four seven, ten point four seven two. Ah, uh, yeah, correct to three decimal place. Ah, uh, yeah, four seven two radian per second. Ah, uh, that's the unit for omega actually. Okay, you must convert to radian per second first. Don't use directly. Yeah, uh, don't use directly RPM. You must uh, multiply two pi over sixty. Uh, but if revolution per second, uh, if let's say, uh, let's say question, he says uh, 100 revolution per second, uh, that is definitely frequency lah because it's revolution per second, isn't it? Uh, so if, if that, that case, uh, this one you just multiply, this one you just multiply, 2 pi, uh, you just multiply, 2 pi. Uh, that's why omega, that's why omega is 2 pi f, <laughs> you see? Because it's actually, it's actually, uh, 2 pi multiply with the frequency you see that <laughs> uh, to get uh, a radian per second uh, yeah this one if you need to multiply 2 pi uh, then then you can get the omega yeah then you can get omega mm -hmm. omega uh, in uh, radian you know in uh, you know in radian per second uh, okay if the if the unit is revolution per second then you just multiply 2 pi uh, if revolution per minute, revolution per minute, you multiply 2 pi over 60. Remember that. Okay? Uh, okay, so, uh, see ya? Uh, uh, omega is 2 pi f. Uh, that's why. Uh. Okay. So, look back to these uh, questions. Now, we already have omega in radian per second. Okay? Now, we can do the rest. Uh, let's do the rest. Uh, let's find out uh, the, about question A. Period. Okay, we need to know the period. Okay, uh, the first question is to find the period. The next question is to find the frequency. Okay, good. So first of all, let's find the period. How? How to find the period? Uh, how to find the period? Uh, so uh, period is... Uh, how to find the period? Very simple. Just use the formula. Still remember the formula? Omega. Uh, from omega, we know it is 2 pi, 2 pi over period, right? Uh, 2 pi over period. So, uh, from there we can find the period because we already know the omega, right? Omega. Uh, so, just put in, just put in, uh, you know, omega is uh, 10 point, uh, you know, 10 point what? 10.472 radian per second. Okay, this 2 pi over period. Uh, I can get the period here. So, period is what? What is the period? Uh, so, let's calculate. Yeah? Let's calculate. Okay, so the answer for the period is actually 0. 0. 0.6. Yeah, 0. 0.6 second. Ah, is that correct, the answer? Yes, the answer is 0. 0.6 second. That's correct. Okay, so the rest, um, how about the frequency? How to find the frequency? Yeah, let's check the frequency. Uh, how to check, how to, what is the frequency? Uh, frequency is uh, very easily related to the, to the, period uh, yeah so uh, we know that frequency is uh, 1 over period 
Uh, frequency is 1 over period or you also can can uh, relate the frequency to the omega you understand you also can use omega equal to 2 pi f uh, so either way yeah uh, either way so let's do let's check one by one uh, how about uh, using the period using the period 0 0.6 second so what's the frequency so the frequency will be so 1 divided by point, 0 0.6 so you get the answer is the frequency is 1.67 uh, 1.67 uh, hertz uh, or the unit or the unit you can write per second yeah because the you know the period is at the below okay so the unit for frequency is actually the unit for frequency is actually per second you understand uh, so the unit for frequency is actually per second or you can write as or you can write as uh, hertz uh, hertz or per second okay that's the unit for frequency is that correct uh, 1.67 per second that's correct okay that's correct uh, that's correct yeah that's the answer or you can use the formula for omega okay omega also can okay let's check yeah? how about using omega uh, omega so let's calculate yeah because we already have the omega is the 10 point 10 point uh, 472 so 2 pi so I want to get the frequency. So just use, just check the frequency. Just multiply uh, ten, okay, and then uh, divide by uh, two pi. So the what's the answer? Oh, the frequency is one point six seven, one point six seven uh, hertz, uh, or you can put the unit as per second. So the answer is still the same. Uh, one point six seven. Important, you must write the unit. Huh? you must have the unit. So either way, workable. All right. So that's the formula you need to know. Uh, omega is two pi f. Omega is two pi over period. Uh, frequency is one over period. Uh, that's all for these questions. Yeah. Thank you.